Hey everybody, Mr. Klingen here. I'm going to explain our reading activity for the day. Um, now, similar to the previous day's lesson where you went to Epic, read a book, and then um, added a link to show me what you read. Today we're going to be doing uh, the same thing, but this time with Kids A to Z. So this is just going to be good practice getting into both Epic and Kids A to Z. Um, so we always have lots of good things that we can read at home. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to Kids A to Z. Now, some of you might have an app on your device. Some people might have the website um, bookmarked. Um, or you can just Google search Kids A to Z. And the, the two symbol, that's called a hyphen. It looks kind of like a subtraction key um, on your keyboard. So you'll click on the link. Now, some of you might already have our class saved in your account. Um, if you don't, that's fine. What you would just do is where it says your teacher's username, we type in S Klingen, C-L-I-N-G-A-N, then the number one. And um, this is also in the directions for the, the Seesaw assignment too. So then you're gonna click go, and then it'll pull up our class. So find your name, click on it. Then it'll probably ask you for a password. Now, some of you have pictures that are a password you just have to click on. Some of you have something written that you need to type in. Um, if you do not know your password, please let me know. Send me a message on Seesaw or you can send me um, an email in your Gmail and I can respond with what your password is. Okay, so I'm gonna type mine in. Click go. You can choose to save your password if you want, up to you. All right. Now, here is my, um, my main page. Now, to, to get to the books, to get to the reading room, you're going to go up to here where it says reading, and then you can click on reading room, all right? And now, this takes me to um, a ton of books that are around my reading level, okay? So, there are some popular books. There are um, different organized uh, genres, so nonfiction or um, graphic or books in Spanish. So let's say I want to read some nonfiction today. I can click on that. And it has some subcategories like biomes, colors, countries of the world. Um, hmm, maybe since I've been feeling a little stuck inside, I'm going to read about the national parks. So I can look around for a park that I'm interested in. Oh, this looks interesting. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Now, there are a couple different options. You can have the, the story read to you. You can read it yourself. Okay. So if you click on it, if you click play here, it'll start reading the story to you, okay? Hawaii. You might be able to hear the person National reading the story to me right now. If you don't want to read to you, you can just click pause and you can read the story on your own, okay? So you'd read the story to yourself or have it read to you, okay? Then when you're done, what I'm gonna have you do is come up here and you're gonna copy the URL, it's the website. Now we talked about how to do that um, in yesterday's uh, reading activity as well, but just for a refresher, so if you click once, it'll usually highlight the entire URL. Um, if, you, if it does not highlight, you can always click and drag, so I'm gonna click, hold down the click, and then move the mouse so it collects every, uh, every word in the URL. Then, there are a couple ways to do this to copy. You can either, um, if you have a mouse, you can do the right click. If you just are using a laptop, you can use your two fingers, okay? And you can tap on the trackpad at the same time. And it'll open up this little window here and you can click copy, all right? Um, also, it shows you the shortcut if you wanna go quicker. If you hold the control button and tap the C button at the same time, it'll copy it. So I'm gonna copy it. Now I'm gonna go back to my Seesaw assignment, okay? So it says click add response to add response. So I'm gonna click that, okay? Now remember, up at the top here, it'll tell you the instructions. If you click view instructions, you can also listen to them um, audio, so me reading them. Okay, now my next step, it says click the link. And then it says, copy and paste a link to a story you read on kids A to Z. And there's my teacher username if you need to reference that. And then lastly, I will click the check button to add the response to my journal. So pretty simple now. I click the link. 
Now I'm going to paste it. Again, you can do um, a right click on your mouse. You can use your two fingers and tap at the same time. And that'll pull up where you can click paste. Or you can use the shortcut on your keyboard, which is the control button and V at the same time. So I'm going to click on paste. And there's my website that would take me right to the book about Hawaii's National Volcano Park. So once I've pasted in my book, I click the green check. Okay, we don't need to worry about a picture or anything. Click the green check again to submit the assignment. Always click on your name. All right, so I'm sample student. Green check. And now I've uploaded my assignment. So it's added to my journal. And that's how um, you are going to turn in the assignment to me. So good luck. Happy reading.